Welcome back everybody. A company called Good Chop reached out to me and they wanted to send me a box of their meat and seafood. And look what I have here. This is a big old package of Pacific Cod. I love you. As far as Good Chop, let's take a look. Check this out right here. Good Chop. Goodchop.com. They apparently are a brand new subscription meat and seafood service. So check it out. I wanted to make sure that I was surprised, so we left the box sealed. High quality meat, sustainable seafood, no antibiotics or added hormones. Arrived in a nice package. And let's see what's in the box. We have a selection, which includes ribeye beef steak. So it's a two pack of ribeye beef steaks. Uh, 20 ounce, so 10 ounce ribeyes. Beef flat iron steaks. These are 12 ounces each. Uh, everything says born, raised, and harvested in the USA. No antibiotics or added hormones. All vegetarian diet. Next, we have a two pack of fillets. Filet mignon, uh, 12 ounces. These are six ounce fillets here. Boneless pork chops. 32 ounce, and I'm gonna guess that looks like four pork chops, I think. I'm not positive, I think it's four giant pork chops. After much deliberation at age 49, apparently I'm forgetting basic math, which was the only kind of math I was ever good at. Uh, this is four eight ounce pork chops. <laughs> For some reason I said, what's eight, what's the 32 divided by four? And I sat there puzzled like, I didn't have a clue how to think of it. Uh, ooh, my. What do we have here? Pacific Cod, oh baby, oh baby. Our son Aaron's gonna get really excited. He loves cod, it's a big old pack of cod. One more package, oh baby. Everybody's favorite, of course. Ground beef, and these are big packages. These remind me of the packages when you go to Costco and Sam's, you know, if they, when they sell their organic uh, ground beef and buffalo, that same size, so 32 ounce. But definitely want to thank the good folks at Good Chop for sending this out to me. Let's talk oil for deep frying fish. I don't know, probably the two most commonly used are going to be canola oil or peanut oil. Peanut oil definitely double the price, maybe triple the price of canola oil, uh, but canola oil is a good neutral oil as well. So this is a 30 ounce package here, uh, just a little under two pounds, and there's quite a few pieces of cod here. So let's go ahead and get to it, thaw these out in the refrigerator overnight. Let's talk fish batter. I've tried quite a few of them, homemade ones and ones from the store. I'm in the opinion that the McCormick Golden Dipped Beer Batter Seafood Batter Mix is the best for shrimp or for fish, hands down. We've tried other ones from McCormick, just like this the best. So the instructions basically say to mix one cup of batter mix with two thirds cup of beer. And just like with pancake mix, folks, I'm not gonna measure this. We're gonna, we're gonna do this uh, to sight. And so uh, gonna go ahead, we're doing a lot of fish here today. So gonna dump the mix in there. Take this from a guy who doesn't even drink alcohol. But when I started making beer batter fish, which I love, several years ago, I tried several beers off the shelf. All kinds of stuff. Stuff from local breweries and big brand names. I'm telling you what, Miller High Life was the best. I mean, hands down, it made the best fried seafood. You get in there and mix this up see where we are at consistency wise it's getting real thick so definitely need some more of the Miller High Life now this is a one-stop batter shop here we're not dipping in a dry batter and then into a wet one or a wet one and then to a dry one and back etc let's talk garnish for your fish some people like cocktail sauce some people like to use uh, malt vinegar uh, I like tartar sauce gonna start out with mayonnaise this happens to be an olive oil based mayo and I like to put a kosher dill pickle in there some people like to do a sweet pickle I like a dill pickle a more 
old tart pickle and I've been chopping up my own pickles for years and then it finally hit me Todd why aren't you just using relish wouldn't that be easier yeah apparently it takes me a while so we're doing this we're eyeballing this we're gonna put pickles in there um, I love that kosher juice mixed with the tartar folks you can do a lot of things in here fresh parsley perfect in here sometimes we like to put those pepperoncini peppers in there as well but that's what we're gonna do right there just basic um, tartar sauce with mayo with um, dill pickle relish and then this is a personal thing you don't have to do it I like a little bit of black pepper a little bit of ground black pepper in ours as well I'm using this big old lodge cast iron skillet today a lot of people ask me is it safe to put cast iron skillets or Dutch ovens on your griddle top and it certainly is I use all kinds of them um, used this in a video a couple weeks ago this little Dutch oven I have a big old collection of various lodge and other brand cast iron or seasoned steel skillets since I'm on the Blackstone 36 inch air fryer combo we've got it on high I'm gonna pull out one of my trays here um, you can do this any way you want. Some people like to put uh, parchment paper down there. I always start out with a little bit of spray in the bottom. Open our fries, dump them down there in our fry basket. But be careful, you don't want to stack these too high in an air fryer, folks. Uh, always like to spray a little bit of olive oil or your favorite cooking spray on top. That interacts with the air, makes everything taste way better. I'll hit those up with a little Blackstone parmesan ranch just a little extra flavor on there and we can dust that up a little more later into the air fryer oh boy it's going up quick so 338 338 degrees um, let's double check here yeah 338 so by the time we dip that fish it'll definitely be up another 12 degrees to 350 grab these beautiful good chopped Pacific cod fillets straight down in the batter we want full cover here baby look at that it's beautiful it almost looks like you're uh, laying tile <laughs> it's really thick batter and oh this stuff's so good here we go oh yeah mm -mm 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 -mm. now this stuff cooks super quick I'm just gonna use my little strainer here my little wok strainer we're gonna make sure they're not sticking and they're not you can see those are kind of just floating this one there we go needs to be broke free uh, let's check our fries down below I haven't been uh, paying attention to the clock but these are shoestrings so they're very small and as you can see those are probably just about perfect maybe eight to ten minutes mmm they're almost perfect so depending on if you're using a thick cut fry one of those steak fries or a shoestring fry you're gonna have to figure out the timing on your own all right so it's been about two minutes or so oh yeah right there it's gonna turn these over you can see it's golden brown baby mm. and again this recipe works perfect for fish it works for shrimp the cod is looking so good guesstimating maybe it's been in there four minutes so what you're looking for you're looking for that golden brown color Let me grab a plate with some paper towels. See, Bounty has more than one use. It's not just for wiping down my griddle top here. So we're gonna pull those pieces of cod, which by the way, look outstanding. Let's check on our fries, which now I believe are perfectly cooked. And uh, dump these down on my paper towel for a few seconds as well. Alrighty, I have some Blackstone parchment paper here. We use this for the press and sear burger tool. And they have these cool little baskets that we like to use. The kind that you'd get at an old diner. Uh, I remember growing up and stopping at the Tasty Freeze and getting deep fried fish or shrimp and they'd always use something a little bit like this. There we go. A few pieces of my cod in there like so. Grab some of those french fries with the Parmesan Ranch. Now I looked for coleslaw at the store this morning, folks. I didn't have any. So uh, no color contrast. You could certainly add some parsley in there. That'd be perfect. Uh, we can go ahead and put a little extra Parmesan Ranch on those fries. Bullet of my homemade tartar sauce, like this. Mm -mm -mm. Put it down there. A lot of times you don't have fresh lemons laying around the house. Just keep some of these on hand. Italian, uh, lemon juice and you can go ahead and 
just put a little bit, just squirt a little bit on top of your fish. And last but not least, salt. In this case, violet sea salt on top of your cod. And take a look at that. Alrighty, everybody. Let's not waste any time. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Ah, let's just jump in there. <gasps> you know, I gotta get some of that homemade tartar sauce. Oh, let's give it a try. Hear that crunch? Hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look, that's what you want. Look at the flaky fish inside. And look at that beer batter. My goodness, I'm gonna go in there for another bite real quick. I'm a big ketchup guy when it comes to fries, so if you don't like ketchup on your fries, just go ahead and humor me. Forgive me. Oh, yes. Mm mm mm. Mm. Air fryer combo. Easy way to get it all done. Whether you're doing burgers and onion rings, whether you're doing fish on top and fries down below, whatever. So many different options. Folks, make sure you're watching my other show. Let's give it a try over at Blackstone Social Media. We have weekly shows there. I'm all over the country showing off Blackstone Girls, having an amazing time with a ton of adventures. But here on my channel, I get to do the same thing, but just not as much. So I appreciate you watching. If you want to taste this delicious Pacific Cod, just go out to goodchop.com. In fact, I tried out some of the pork chops uh, a couple weeks ago. We thawed them out. Uh, we were running out on a trip and they were delicious pork chops. So goodchop.com. And that's it, folks. Oh yeah, shout out to Lee Watkins, man. He has been a longtime subscriber of my videos. Let's see if I got a bunch here. And he has hooked me up for like five years uh, with oil and gas corporation hats and hoodies. My goodness, he sent me a huge, he sends me like every year an annual care package and I go hunting in these things, uh, hoodies, shirts, all kinds of stuff. So shout out to Lee. Until next time, praise the Lord and pass this, the Pacific Cod, beer battered and deep fried.